You might have seen our launch review of this new Montec Hyperflow Silent AIO go up on YouTube a couple of weeks ago, but then it was removed. The reason for that is because during our analysis, we found what we considered a pretty major design issue with this new cooler and reported back to Montec. A couple of days later, they asked if we wouldn't mind retesting with a second sample they were going to ship. While we knew our first sample was not damaged in any way, we gave them the benefit of the doubt and agreed to republish later. What you will watch next is our results over several weeks of in-depth testing. We've got the second sample now, it's been tested. So here's the final video. I need to jump in straight away at the beginning of this video and let you know exactly what's going on with this new AIO from Montec. We've had some real fun and games with this review. Unexpected things happening during thermal testing back and forth with Montec until we finally realized what was going on. So if you've come here to watch the usual stuff, watch the beginning of this video. But if you really want to know what's going on with this AIO and you've seen other reviews, I suggest you stick with it right to the end. Approximately nine months ago, Montec released its first AIO CPU cooler, the Hyperflow ARGB. It was available in 240 and 360 millimeter sizes in black or white color schemes and was very reasonably priced at around 85 pounds for the 360 millimeter version. Now Montec is back with a new Hyperflow Silent, which according to Montec has whisper quiet performance, but ditches the RGB lighting. So it's a budget AIO for the cooling purist. But does its low noise output and lack of RGB lighting mean that performance is compromised? Well, let's find out. So in this video, we're taking a look at this new 360 millimeter AIO CPU cooler from Montec. It's the new Hyperflow Silent 360. It's the follow-up to the Montec Hyperflow ARGB. According to Montec, the only real hardware changes between the Silent version and the original ARGB version are the fans and the lighting on the CPU block, the top cover of the pump. There are some other subtle changes to the mounting system, which we will look at later during the testing process. This is available now with an MSRP price of around $70 for the 240 and $80 for the 360. In the UK, they'll be priced at around 60 pounds for the 240 and around 70 pounds for the 360. You should be able to pick these up in the UK from SCAN in early March. According to Montec, the Hyperflow Silent offers whisper quiet performance from a reduced reduced noise pump and fan blades capable of achieving 45 decibels noise output while its 27 millimeter thick radiator and 72.3 cubic feet per minute of airflow provide optimal heat transfer. The innovative ring tight fan blades reduce noise output to 24.8 decibels even at their maximum speed of 2200 RPM. The versatile design means the Hyperflow Silent is compatible with the latest AMD and Intel desktop platforms pre-installed fans for a quick and simple installation process and it comes with a six year extended warranty for peace of mind. So straight off the bat I can say that the price of this seems very competitive, £60 for the 240 £70 pounds in the UK for the 360mm AO, there might be a few cheaper than that but it is amongst the lowest budget priced coolers and usually with Montec budget price doesn't always mean compromise quality. So let's take a look and see what Montec has done with the Hyperflow Silent. Straight away you can see the difference between the Hyperflow ARGB and the Silent is the fans have no RGB lighting and neither does the pump top. Other than that it looks very similar in its construction so the radiator is made from aluminium. It's a dense 20 fins per inch fin stack. On top of the radiator here you've got a little Montec logo there. It's very subtle. It's not going to stand out and really show up in all black system. The radiator is a standard 27 millimeter thick radiator and the OEM supplier for this is a Poltec. Dimensions of the radiator are 397 by 120 by 27 millimeters and it's got a really nice looking satin black finish to it so it'll be a spray painted or powder coated finish. It's a satin finish so it's not too glossy but you do find that 
as you can see on the edge of here, it does show up fingerprints pretty badly, but once you've got it installed in the system, it's not something that you'll be touching very often. At the radiator end, you can see the tubing is fixed in position, so there's no rotation or movement, and you can see there are these chrome covers over the tubing. The length of the tubing is approximately 400 millimeters in total, and as you can see, it's covered with a braided sleeve, and it'll be a rubber tubing covered with a braided sleeve, and this is a feature we used to say was premium, but nowadays, even in these budget AIOs, you get this braided sleeving on the tubing, which does make it look a little nicer than just seeing the bare rubber. In terms of the CPU block, so Montek says it has a metal mirror effect finish. I kind of understand what they're saying with it. The top of the CPU block or the pump cover, it is plastic, but underneath that, apparently that is a metal plate. And it's also got kind of a machine finish on it. So it does look all right. Not quite a mirror finish, I'd say, but it is quite subtle looking. And again, it won't look out of place in any system. The height of the pump block isn't too high either, so it shouldn't interfere too much with other components in the system. The only other thing you can see on top of the pump block, very faintly, there is a Montec logo on there too. There are rotary 90 degree fittings, so there is some movement in those fittings, which does help when you're coming to install the cooler and position the tubing to make it look neat in the system. And also you can see again, the chrome fittings on the end there, or the chrome covers. On the base of the cooler, you can see there is a plastic cover that comes with it. It also comes with a pre-applied thermal compound coating. Out of the box, it comes with the Intel bracket attached, so you will have to swap this bracket out to mount on an AMD system. The cold plate is a microscived copper cold plate. It's bare copper, there's no nickel plating on there, so you wouldn't ideally be able to use this with liquid metal you get some reaction and the liquid metal would eat away at that so it's not advised to run the cooler with liquid metal thermal compound just regular thermal compound you can see the only cable that goes to the pump is the four pin pwm cable and the pump has a maximum speed to 3100 rpm quite obviously there is a big difference between the fans on this compared to the original there's no rgb lighting effects on the fans or the pump block you can see they just are plain black fans with these montec brushed aluminium style stickers on the front They're reasonably well positioned centrally so they don't wobble about too much when the fans are spinning. You can also see on all the corners of the fans you've got anti-vibration rubbers on each mounting point and the fan blades also have this ring around them. I believe that gives some stability to the fan blades and Montec also says this helps with the noise output. These are slightly thicker than regular 120 millimeter fans. Your regular fans would be 25 millimeters thick. These are 28 millimeter thick and you can see they use four pin standard PWM cables and they are daisy chained to each other so it cuts down on wiring. It should improve the cable management or at least make cable management a little easier to make it look tidy. The fans have a maximum speed of 2200 RPM PWM control, maximum airflow of 73.2 cubic feet per minute, maximum air pressure of 3.12 millimeters H2O, and a maximum noise output of 24.8 decibels. The fans use a rifle bearing setup and the only connection is this four pin PWM connection. There is an extension lead in the box, so you connect this to the extension and then you can connect up directly to a four pin PWM header on the motherboard and you can control the fan speed either using the motherboard BIOS or motherboard software. Hyperflow Silent is compatible with all current Intel and AMD desktop platforms ranging from Intel 11.5x up to the latest Intel 1851 socket and it's compatible with AMD AM3, AM4, AM5 which means in the accessories pack you get all the mounting hardware for that as well as a user guide and installation manual. You get the upper mounting bracket for AMD installation, two Intel backplates, so there's one for LGA 1700 and 1851 sockets, and then one for 11.5x, 1200, etc. As well as the pre-applied thermal compound, you also get an additional small tube of thermal compound and a template to spread the paste correctly. And you also get a small spreading tool. There's the extension cable for PWM to the fans, 
which will connect to a motherboard header, a tool for fastening down standoffs and a couple of clips to neaten up the tubing once it's installed. And then you get the standoffs for Intel LGA 11.5X 1200, LGA 2011 2066, and Intel LGA 1700 1851, and the standoffs for AMD AM4, AM5, etc. Some small Phillips head screws for mounting the radiator into your case and for spring loaded screws for mounting the CPU block to the CPU socket. So as well as a new CPU cooler to test in this video, we've also got a brand new AMD test platform. So this uses the latest AMD Ryzen 9 9950X CPU. Because we're testing at the moment just on an AMD platform, will quickly run you through the installation process on AMD. It's very simple. To begin installation on AMD platforms, you will have to remove the pre-installed Intel upper mounting bracket from the pump block and install the AMD AM5 upper mounting bracket. The first step, you just need to remove the stock AMD upper mounting brackets. Install the Montec AM5 standoffs to the stock back plate. The cooler comes with thermal compound pre-applied, so for the first install, you won't need to apply any thermal compound to the CPU. So now just lower the CPU block down aligned with the standoffs and then secure it in place using the four spring loaded thumb screws. It's always best to tighten the thumb screws in an X shaped pattern working from corner to corner and progressively tightening down for even contact. For the wiring connections all you need to do is connect the four pin PDRM cable from the pump to either the CPU option or the AIO pump header. The fans come pre daisy chain from the factory so all you need to do is connect the extension lead to the end of the daisy chain and then connect the other end of that cable to the CPU fan header on the motherboard. All that's needed then is to mount the radiator in a suitable place in your case, and that is the installation complete. So because the Hyperflow Silent uses just standard regular four pin PWM headers connections, installation is really quick and simple. It should only take you 15, 20 minutes maximum to install this and get the radiator mounted into your case, which is very good. I can't think of many coolers that are quicker to install than this. It uses the stock backplate on AMD, which again, install time is decreased because of that. For Intel, you do have to install an Intel specific backplate, but it's pretty much the same procedure on both AMD and Intel, neither is difficult. The only problem I've found with the installation, installing it and removing it several times from the test bench because of how it attaches to the test bench. One of the threads on the radiator seems to have stripped because the screws aren't quite long enough to go through a case panel, through a fan and then into the radiator. So if you're thinking of running push-pull fans with this, the standard fan screws not quite long enough. Anyway, onto the thermal performance. Because this is a new test bench, as I said, we don't have as many comparison coolers as we used to on the 7950X test bench, but we have got about 10 other coolers for comparison data. If you want to check out the full testing methodology, head over to kitguru.net where there will be a written page for the Montec Hyperflow Silent. All the testing methodology is on there. So let's start by looking at noise output as this will give us an indication of performance based on the noise. Montec's naming of the Hyperflow Silent doesn't quite stack up in reality. As seen in our noise output chart, the Hyperflow Silent is sat in the middle in terms of noise output at maximum fan speed. The likes of the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3, MSI Mag Core Liquid i360 and the Be Quiet Light Loop are much quieter, but the Hyperflow Silent is significantly quieter than some of the other coolers, including the original Hyperflow ARGB by 3 decibels. With the fans running at maximum speed, the raw performance of the Hyperflow Silent is quite disappointing, especially considering the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3, the MSI Mag Core Liquid i360, and the Be Quiet Light Loop are all outperforming it with lower fan speed and noise output. Even the original Hyperflow ARGB is six degrees cooler too. Reducing noise output to 40 decibels puts everything on a level playing field and the true thermal performance can be measured. But again, the Hyperflow Silent is at the bottom of the pile out of the coolers we have tested so far on the 9950X. It's a massive eight degrees C hotter than the Lian Li HydroShift LCD 360S, six degrees off its older brother, the original Hyperflow ARGB, and even the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3360, which 
which uses the almost identical fan speed at 40 decibels. So performance of our sample on AMD is disappointing. To validate these figures, we ran the same test several times and the hyperflow silent was within a degree either way each time. The only anomaly we noted was how the mounting pressure and thermal paste spread looked after each mount. You can see the paste looks thicker on the right hand side of the CPU. So it's likely that the contact isn't perfect here. To look at this performance gap even deeper, we checked performance on our new Intel Core Ultra 9 285K system. The performance gap between the original Hyperflow ARGB and the Hyperflow Silent is much closer here at maximum fan speed. But with noise normalized at 40 decibels, the original Hyperflow ARGB cooler outperformed the Silent, but only by three degrees C. So the deficit is halved this time. However, this was only a quick experiment to give feedback on performance to Montek. So these are not to be classed as official test figures. We are still working on gathering data for this platform, which is why there is only one other comparison cooler in these charts. If you're looking for a new chair, then definitely go and check out bullies.co.uk. They offer a whole host of gaming and office chairs that come in a variety of different finishes and different colors. So performance on AMD AM5 CPUs, it doesn't seem to really add up. I think I can explain why. So as well as the changing fans between the original Hyperflow ARGB and this new silent version, there has been another hardware change and that's the upper mounting bracket used for AMD AM4 AM5 installation. The new silent cooler uses this four point mounting system. This slides onto the CPU block and then it's mounted to the CPU socket in these four points using spring loaded screws. The older ARGB cooler use this two point mounting system with these two hooks that mount directly to the plastic upper mounting bracket that comes pre-installed to AMD motherboards. And if you think of the AMD die layout on the CPU, there's the two smaller CCD dies side by side. So with this mount, probability of getting a poor mount side to side or uneven mounting pressure side to side is higher than with this mount depending on how the screws are tightened, there is potential for a uneven mount. And that's critical on AMD with the side-by-side -side layout of the CCDs. So with that in mind, what I've done is I've tested the 360 Silent using this older two-point mount from the ARGB cooler and run the AMD tests again. You can see that reverting back to the ARGB mount on the silent cooler has a significant impact on thermal performance. At maximum fan speed using the two point hook style mount, it brings the average temperature of the Silence 360 cooler down by a huge seven degree C. Pulling performance more in line with the original Hyperflow ARGB. It's ultimately the same story when the fan speed is lowered to 40 decibels noise output. Again, using the original ARGB mount on the silent 360 drops average CPU temperature enough to bring the performance level with the original ARGB cooler, which is what we would expect since both coolers use the same base design. Montek then sent us a second sample to rule out any possible hardware issue with the original. We retested the second sample using the four point mount, but found results to be virtually identical. So we know the original AIO isn't faulty. So we reached out to Montek and explained what we'd found in terms of performance between the new Silent 360 and the original ARGB cooler. They then carried out some of their own testing and found similar results. And Montek has since got back in touch with us and said the following on the matter. After reviewing James's feedback and conducting additional internal testing, we've identified that the poor AMD performance is largely due to the new mount. Montek went on to say, as a result, we've made the decision to hold all unshipped units and revert to the ARGB version's original mount. For units that have already been shipped or are on store shelves, we will provide customers with the updated mount upon request. No questions asked via rma at montechpc.com. Montech then reached out again to us a few days later to say the OEM for the Hyperflow has done some of its own additional testing on the AMD Ryzen 9 9950X and concluded that the Silent 360 mount may not be the cause of the poor performance 
our advice would be if you buy this AIO and you find that the performance isn't as expected, the best thing to do is check the mounting pressure, remount the cooler and see if the performance improved. It's not that we wouldn't recommend this cooler, it's very competitively priced. When you get it seated evenly on AMD AM5 CPUs, performance is reasonably good in line with other coolers of similar price. But you need to pay extra attention during installation to make sure you get it mounted correctly with the four point mount that is currently shipped with the cooler. The only other thing worth mentioning is the name that Montek's given this with silent in it. It is a bit of a gimmick. It's not really better in terms of thermal performance versus the original ARGB cooler at 40 decibels, noise normalized, and there are quieter coolers out there that give similar or better performance. But in terms of value for money, once you get it mounted correctly on an AMD CPU, it is pretty good. So that's the Montek Hyperflow Silent 360. Let us know what you think about this cooler in the comment section. If you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you've not already subscribed. If you enjoy what we do here at KitGuru and you wanna help support us, you can always head over to our store, pick up some of our merch, or you could even subscribe to our Patreon. And as always, if you wanna catch up on all the in-depth technical reviews, head over to the website.